my name is Yogi. I'm the founder and CEO of TinyTap. What I want to accomplish in this link is explain to you a little bit about TinyTap uh, during Corona and everything we, we, we did to, to make it much more accessible and much more free for everyone. Uh, second of all, is a new initiative that we're launching, uh, which is TinyTap Tutoring. Now for the action. Now let's do uh, a lesson. Number one, class management. Okay, you got all of you here. If some of your mics are open, I'll hear a lot of background noise because there's another brother or sister in the home and, and mommy and daddy and 50 people is, is a very noisy place to be. So what you can do is I can unmute everyone or I can mute everyone and I can summon someone to talk. So let's say, for example, um, I'm going to choose, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, the uh, GLC. Okay, so I'm going to unmute you and you're going to get a request. So now okay. we can hear you. Where are you from? I'm from Turkey. I'm from Turkey. My name is Peter. Yeah. Welcome. And uh, you've, uh, have you heard about Tanita before? You've been using our platform? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so I can just, and then I can mute her. Okay? And I can do that for anyone here. Uh, and let's begin. So that's uh, something you should remember to, in order to control the noise. Don't let it be too noisy that you have to scream over it. This is not your classroom. This is a digital world. You can mute a student. It's an amazing feature that I bet you wish you had when you taught. So sharing the desktop. So I just hit the share the desktop. Going back to our Zoom call, let's see if I can show you how to share, but you should see it's really simple. It's on the, on the button, it's a green arrow. Okay, now I see my desktop. Make sure it's neat and tidy and you don't have anything that you want, don't want other people to see. Now, what you can do is you can go to TinyTap on your website and select a game or a course. We recommend coming up with those lists before starting the lesson. So maybe pick a course or two and then just follow that course every week. In fact, I think it's a really good way to go. Another thing that you can do is I'll show you what I did when I did a, a, a dry run with students. I created a document and I uh, just pasted some links that I found and then I went back to the document. So remote tutoring, this is the document I made for myself. Okay, so this is math. I wrote all the links. From what I see, a lesson is about three to four games. Think about it, it's nothing, three or four games. Uh, so I prepared this list, everything I wanna teach, and I jump from a game to a game. So let's do this. Let's start with that, and then we can continue with the course. Okay, so the game starts. You wanna go full screen here, and you wanna mute the music, because the instructions are Lesson gonna come. two, counting objects quickly to 20. Remember, a pre-lesson, using real dominoes would be beneficial. Okay, now if I wanna say something because maybe the narrator is talking or it's waiting for the answer, I can pause with the burger menu and speak. Uh, like Ellen pointed out, uh, you might wanna pause and actually explain about something here. Because unlike TinyTap, now you have the cursor, so you can go and explain what each means and you can maybe count the dots with them. Um, so we're gonna add a pause button, okay? so. And maybe when I also give you the instructions like I'm doing now. So guys, we're gonna start playing that. I want all of you to unmute. It's gonna be madness. And I want you to scream the answer. The answer. As soon as you get it, as soon as you get it, okay? So go, go ahead and unmute yourself. Everybody comes to life. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Okay. Hey! Great. Okay, ready? So we're gonna do the first one together. Let's count it. One. Hi. Count, count with me. Count with me. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 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 Eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. Great. Amazing crowd we got here today. And now I want you to be quick thinkers. Who knows the answer? Scream it first. Nineteen. Next. 
<laughs> okay. So, and now, instead of all of us screaming, I'm going to invite. I'm going to invite one of you to actually take uh, control. No, before before the control demo, let's do something else. So now, if I'm hearing some background music, I can go ahead and mute the people I want to mute, and then I can call call in a specific person and ask him. So. Okay. I don't see the names in this view, so no, uh, Nafar. Nafar Levy, do you want to give us the answer? Nafar, if you can, I'm going to unmute Nafar and ask her. Two, one. Very good, Nafar. Okay, next up, I'm going to ask, let's see. I don't see the names of the people with the video. That's unfortunate. Mm. Okay, let's take uh, Hello. Julia. What is the answer? Oh, oh, okay, good. So this is uh, three techniques to do a lesson. One is I guide, I go over it and maybe do like a group exercise like we did in the beginning, so counting together. Second, everybody scream the answer. Why? You can, you can pick One. time and, and, and ask them. Okay, uh, I'm gonna bring in, I'm gonna mute the music. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna mute the music. I'm gonna bring in a student with me to say the words, and then every student is gonna do a different slide with me. So I'm gonna start with Patricia Phillips. I'm gonna unmute you. Okay. Hi, Patricia, where are you from? Hi. I'm in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, so Patricia, I think you, you, you'll do just fine in this uh, nice exercise. Uh, okay, so the first one, we're gonna, I'm gonna tap and you're gonna hear a word and I want you to repeat that. Wake up. Wake up. Perfect. Brush teeth. Brush teeth. Brush teeth. Get dressed. Get dressed. Comb hair. Comb hair. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Here's Perfect. my evening routine. I think it was a great lesson for me though. Thank you. In the morning or in the evening. Okay, so now I want you to just, whoever wants when to participate. Wake up in the morning or in the evening. Feel free to unmute yourself and let me know where the answer. Yeah, and thank you for drawing the answer. Yes, we wake up in the morning. And uh, in, in puzzle, what you do is uh, I've uh, came up with a nice method. Daily routine puzzles. Put the pieces back in place. So I'm gonna drag a piece and I want you to just scream hot or cold, okay? Wake up. So I am um, for you to let me know if I'm right. Wake up. Cold. Cold? Cold. 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 Hot. Hot. Okay, you can join, everybody can join. So everybody unmute and just help me. Eat breakfast. Cold. 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 Getting colder. Cold. Warmer. Warmer. Hot. 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 Okay. This was a quick overview of some of the kind of methods you can do. Okay, so I want to take the last 10, 10 minutes to show you how you do it from your iPad. Okay? So you tap on share again. Everybody see this green button on the, on, the, on the navigation bar next to the chat? Yes. Great. You tap on share, you got some options here. Whiteboard, iPhone, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna go with iPhone via AirPlay. I guess cable also works and it's fa faster, I haven't tried it, but AirPlay works just fine. A plugin is required to share an, an iPhone, no, no. I have the plugin. Share. Okay, good. So you need to be connected on the same Wi-Fi as your, as your computer. And then you go to uh, screen mirroring, just the way you do it uh, for Apple TV. You swipe from the top right, choose screen mirroring, and then you'll see Zoom and your computer's name. Okay, so I can show you now because I'm zooming in. So you can swipe down and then you tap here and you see the names of the networks. Perfect. 
Zoom. Okay, <laughs> then you get to tiny tap. And, and because we're gonna work with older kids, you can also ask them to share their iPad maybe and, and do some projects. So I, in the classroom a lot of the time, the usage is not just playing the games, it's also asking kids to use tiny tap for, class, for home projects. So now it's better time than ever where you can ask them to, between lessons to go and do the project, maybe later play their game. Okay, so everything works here. As you swipe it, you see it on the screen. There's a bit of latency, not too much. And you can use the create tool or you can play the learning plan or, uh, or play a single game. What you can't do is follow a course on the iPad because we don't support courses on the iPad, only on the web. Uh, Here's a cool idea, and what you can do is you can use this freshly new area we launched called Tiny Top Sketch. And so for those of you who've missed it, it's a whole new area that comes with, uh, with reusable activity pages where you can sketch on, and, and uh, everything that the kid does automatically is being saved in a recently sketched area. I don't know if it's the right version. So I'm gonna do Hebrew alphabets now. I'm gonna use like T. And just gonna place it. Okay. And then when I switch to something else, like uh, learning to draw, then it will, I uh, will have here uh, at the top recent sketch, everything I sketched so far. It's just not in this version, but it's coming soon uh, to an app store next to you. You just want to the page because you want to use it as a whiteboard. You can double tap the eraser. I mean, tap it once, tap it again, and you got this pop-up, delete, and you can just use it as a whiteboard to explain any concept you want. So if you want to talk about four plus eight, if you want to talk about the exponential growth, that's a very popular topic recently, right? So <laughs> uh, how a contagious corona can be, anything, you can do it here, but uh, you don't have to, to, to stay here if you actually know because you know how to create also, you can go to the creator and use that of kind of a really uh, whiteboard on steroids where you can bring uh, images from the web. So let's say I'm gonna Corona, I'm gonna take an image from the web. You should probably stick to the creator. It's much more robust in what he's doing anyway. Yeah, right, that's what Corona means. <laughs> Coronavirus. Well, everybody came here to get five minutes of break. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, Getting you back. So let's say I'm taking this, and you can scale it, stick it, and now you can uh, sketch over it. So you can say, uh, "Oh, cool!" So you can say, "This area is where the virus gets into the cell. It multiplies until the cell eventually collapses and gives messages between other viruses." Uh, so think about it. You can actually use the web creator as a really robust tool. So, just whiteboard and steroids, really. So guys, that's everything I wanted to show you. You saw how simple it is. What we advise, basically, is to come up with your own curriculum. Um, the power of TinyTap is that you can bring your own teaching, teacherness. Mm 